Hi everyone, welcome back. It's great to be here with you. I'm Dr. Stephen Cabral, board certified doctor of naturopathy, author of The Rain Barrel Effect. Today I wanna to teach the topic of different body types. Right now, you probably already know this, but most likely you've never been taught it, that there are three main body types. And when we look around at our friends, maybe even our family and cousins, etc., you can kind of look around and you can kind of say, well, that person, we're all humans, right? We're all humans, but one person has a thinner, longer face, a little bit of a longer neck, maybe very thin joints. Uh, they can eat all the carbohydrates in the world and never gain weight, right? We all have friends like that. Uh, then there's other friends that may have more of a rounder face, right? They have a little softer look to the body. They might have a little bit larger joints or larger calves. And we say, okay, well, yeah, that person has their own unique body style. And then one person, they might have broader shoulders. They might look a little bit more muscular, maybe. Uh, they have slightly thinner here. They have more of a square base face. Well, okay, that's one more main body type. And then, of course, there's subtypes because there's a blending of those different body types. Well, we, we kind of rediscovered that a few decades back called the somatotypes, okay? And we have names for those called the ectomorph mesomorph and endomorph. We use a lot of body transformation or bodybuilding or weightlifting to see what kind of type you wear. However, this was discovered and really detailed at great length in Ayurvedic medicine over 6,000 years ago. And I wanna teach you just a little bit of that today and then allow you to go as in depth as you'd like with additional podcasts that I've recorded before, completely free. So let's go over that. So there's three main body types. I'm gonna to try to fit them all on the screen so you can see them at the same time. And we've got basically a thinner frame, okay? When you look at this person, the ectomorph or the vata in Ayurveda, this person is going to have, again, the thinner joints. They could be tall, they could be short, but their body, again, when I say this, I, again, there's no disrespect to any body type. So I'm gonna talk about them just truthfully. The body type looks a little bit more delicate, a little thinner, a little bit more fragile. I know they're not fragile. We're not saying that about any type, but typically you can see more of the bone skeletal based structure. Again, a thinner neck, narrower shoulders, thin calves, right? That's the vata-based body type. I'm not gonna go into the health um, issues around each body type and also the health benefits today, but I am gonna talk about the actual structure of that body. So there's, again, there's no good, there's no bad, there just is, right? There just is, and once you know your body type, you actually know all the wonderful things that come along with it, and then also the things that you need to watch out for, right? That was, that's really important as well. So that is the vata body type, and then the mesomorph, or the pitta body type in Ayurveda, that body type has broader shoulders, more of a square face, they have uh, thinner here. Men, as they get older, typically go balder faster. They're a little bit e able to put on muscle that much easier. You can see the muscles that much more. Pretty defined calf muscles as well, maybe forearms, chest muscles, etc. cetera. Uh, and again, same, same for females as well, able to put on a little bit more muscle, typically a little bit more where the vata might be, uh, again, we're getting more into mindset, which isn't always the same a little bit more maybe nervous, anxious, Pitta maybe a little bit more aggressive, more towards anger. And then we have the uh, endomorph here. And the endomorph, again, great body type as well. There is no one body type better than the other. Typically a rounder face, okay, rounder face, not always, but typically a rounder face. The shoulders are not as wide as the uh, mesomorph and they have more of a pear-shaped body, okay? So they down to the hips. Calves are uh, typically a little bit more blocky, okay? They can have blockier ankles, but not always. And uh, characterized, again, by typically pretty strong, healthy skin, hair, nails, a little bit more of a robust body type. So these are the different body types characterized with the vata as if left to their own diet and exercise, just living a normal life, they'll typically lose weight easier than gaining weight. And the kapha will typically gain weight faster than losing weight, meaning it's easier for this body type to accumulate more body mass, where the ectomorph naturally loses more body mass without trying, they're more catabolic, remember that, without trying, right? Anybody can lose body weight if they try, but the ectomorph has to be careful. They have to be careful with overdoing fasting. Endomorph body type does better with a longer fast, and I'll be teaching more about that. And mesomorphs right in the middle, they could go either way. They could trend more towards the vata, 
or they could trend more towards the kapha, okay? Kapha being the endomorph. Because there's 10 total subtypes, meaning there's a blending of the ectomorph and mesomorph, there's a blending of the ectomorph and endomorph, and vice versa. So typically we are not 90%, no one's 100% of anything, but typically we're not 90% of any one body type. Now there are some people out there that are, and again, I've seen this of course many, many times in my practice now, having completed over a quarter of a million client appointments, we see all different body types. But what I wanna let you know is this, the more that you know about your unique body type, the more that you know how to keep your body in balance. And when your body's in balance, that means that you're at a healthy body weight, your body is healthy, no diseases of the body, and that you age a lot more gracefully. That's really what it's all about. So what I'm going to do here today is link up my previous shows, podcasts on Ayurveda. So you can literally learn everything that you'd like to about Ayurveda at uh, stephencabral.com forward slash topic forward slash slash Ayurveda but just as easily, I'll put it in the description below. And I also go a bit about uh, Ayurveda in my book, The Rain Barrel Effect. Uh, this book is free, just shipping and handling at stephencabral.com. Uh, of course, you can get it on Amazon and any other places and 100% of all profits from this book go to charity. So again, I'll be teaching a lot more about this right here on video and I would love to hear what questions you have because those will be the topic of future videos. Thanks so much. If this video was helpful, please do feel free to share it with anybody else you think it could serve. Take care.